a book, a sheet of colored paper, as thick and white. You can take of any color. And yes, it should be bigger than the size of the notebook. For covering the book, you will need some tape and scissors. In this video, I will be showing you to book cover designing ideas. The common thing which we are going to use for the design will be acrylic colors. For the first design, we will be using some medium rubber bands and some sponge as a tool. And for the second design, we'll be using just a paintbrush. It is very easy friends and let's get started. Now to cover up book, we will take the paper and we will fold it into half. Then we will take a scissor and we will cut the folded edges into small half triangles. Yes, in this manner. And when we open it, it should look like this. Now we will see whether our book fits inside the cover paper or no. And yes, it does. Now we will take the paper on the top. We will fold it inside the book. Yes, in this way. And the paper below. And we, we will fold it into the top. And the paper on this side. We will fold it inside. Yes. And we will apply the same method on the other side of the book. Now we are going to put tapes on the both the corners of the book. Yes, we put one on the top and one on the bottom. And we do the same thing for the other side. There's this top and here's the bottom. And here we stick the tapes. Yes, we have completed the task of covering the books. Now, let us decorate the cover with colorful designs. So friends, let us continue this video with design 1. I've got my sponge, I've got my acrylic paints and I'm using 3 colors which are red, orange and yellow. Well, you can use whichever colors you want. Uh, how much ever colors you want your fish and uh, sorry but I did not mention the palette in the material section earlier so yes we do need a palette uh, so that uh, it is helpful in making a design and I've got my rubber bands as I mentioned earlier um, so the step one we are going to tie these rubber bands around the notebook so I'll show you one example. Make sure your rubber band doesn't break while tying the rubber band around the book. So well, this is one example which I showed it to you. I will tie more rubber bands around it and I will tell you what we need to do later. So friends, this is the way how I tied the rubber bands around the book. Now the next step is, we will be using a sponge and we have, I have put some red acrylic paint on my palette. I am just going to dip it slightly on my palette. I am going to dip it on one side and I am going to apply this over here. the same way I can apply my paint here and also in the back side and in the same way we can complete the coloring of the whole cover and then we can see our cover is ready. So 
so friends this is how the book looks like and after it dries up totally i'm going to remove the rubber bands and then our book is ready to use so friends the book is ready the paint has dried i've removed the rubber band and this is the way how it looks so friends this is pretty easy pretty interesting and yeah the book is ready to use i've got my paints i'm using three colors which is pink blue and green and you can use whichever colors you want how much ever colors you want your freedom and uh, i've got my paint brush which is of size 10 i've got my book which i've covered it in white paper and i've got my water bowl and here we go first we'll take our book and we will take it in half and we will place it upside down like this so the design can come evenly and let's start I'm going to take my first color which is pink I'm going to wash my paintbrush uh, with a little bit of water I'm going to dip my paintbrush in pink and here I am splash now I'm going to wash my paintbrush because I'm done with pink as for now and I'm going to switch to my next color which is blue and I'm going to again wash my paintbrush and I'm going to switch to my third and my last color which is green and dip it in green and yo we start the fun again yeah. We are almost at the end of decorating this book. See how pretty it looks. We will keep this for drying for an hour and then we can say our book is ready to use. Friends, it took almost 45 minutes for the paint to dry. See, fr See friends, it looks so interesting so pretty so colorful and it is easy too hey friends thank you for watching another episode of take it easy if you really like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe this channel and yes if you are an instagram user then don't forget to follow my instagram account at the rate take it easy channel i really hope you like this video well thank you once again Stay happy, stay blessed. Bye-bye.